boy, let's see, let's have a look at this list of fancy fancy games, what could I be recording today, what a beautiful day to record some shit, let's see what we got. Lion King? That's all I got left? Fuck! Oh fuck me, yes, Lion King, it's about time I got to it, right? Well guess what? It wasn't exactly a thing I was looking forward to. Fuck. Oh, this is going to be a shitload of fuck, isn't it? What the fuck is going on in Discord? Fuck you, Tash, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> if you don't know who it is, it's just a colleague. But anyway, no, Lion King is not gonna be fun. It's not fun. It's shit. Triggers? Damn right I'm fucking tr- <laughs> Whatever. It yeah, it starts alright. Man, what the fuck kind of opening is that? That's so ominous, dude. <laughs> it's just like you press start and then it's like, it starts. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? My torture starts? You bet your ass it starts. God damn it. At least you don't have to rub it in. Okay, there is a trick about that fucking jump and the fucking beetle. I saw it in a speedrun. Maybe I can pull it off? Maybe? Uh, I don't think so. Whatever. But it would be useful to get a hold of that beetle because that's useful. It's something you learn by seeing others play the fucking game because you sure as shit ain't gonna learn this by yourself. See that beetle down there? What the fuck kind of face is that? <laughs> I'ma fuck that bitch up. <laughs> what kind of face is that? Jesus. But yeah, this beetle, you want that beetle. Don't fuck up the jump. See that HP bar? It just got increased. And you know what the best part is? This is like the only time you're gonna get this fucking beetle. It's a permanent health upgrade, yeah. But god damn it. Couldn't you put a few more? I could have used at least two for the for the entire game. No, they only leave you one. One. And you can miss out on it so easily, because you don't really think like this is gonna be a useful thing to take. It, it just looks like, well, you know, a shitty beetle that he shouldn't be eating. Nope. Well, too bad the light only touches shitty barren wastelands and savannas. The kingdom is pretty crap, if you ask me. Wait a minute, that, that Rhino turned from fucking brown to green. What the hell's wrong with him? I think he might be sick, guys. Can somebody find some rhino medicine? So these giraffes are pretty stoned if it takes stomping their faces in to get a response. Man, what the fuck's going on in Africa? Seriously, I'm gonna need to ask my colleagues about this. Is this a normal occurrence? What the hell's going on in there? Why are animals so stoned? I fear for my life. So anyway, this is a normal occurrence in Africa. Animals doing weird acrobatics and shit. This part also sucks, but don't worry. This particular section right here is not the part that sucks, because here you get to use useful arrows to tell you what to do. That always is well appreciated for these sections. It also helps that this section is not horrifyingly fast like the one in Tasmania. Yeah, you hear that, devs of Tasmania? Look at this fucking game for inspiration on how to do things right. <laughs> fucking assholes. Of course, there are certain things that don't really make sense, like this. This is supposed to be a platform. How the hell would you even know this? You're not really standing on it. You're not standing on this smug hippo anyway. What the hell? Oh, I could have used that one up. Whatever, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. But this is the section with the ostrich that does not give you hints on how to proceed through. So you gotta be extra careful now. It's not too difficult either. You get all of these uh, obstacles right, but it's still at a relatively slow pace. And it never speeds up any more than that. Oops, 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 I fucked up. Yeah, it never gets any faster than that, so you don't have to worry about this thing going 
super fast, like uh, the turbo tunnels in Battletoads or that fucking minecart section in Tasmania. Seriously, what the fuck were they thinking and they made that? But uh, it's still kind of annoying because of another problem. See, the, the nests that you're supposed to avoid, that's easy to see through. Because, well, they're on the trees, they're very easy to notice. The pink hippos, though? Or the rhinos? Whatever the fuck they're supposed to be? I think the rhinos. They're not very easy to see, because they blend in with the background. But if you think this is where the bullshit starts, boy are you mistaken! It's pretty clear that you haven't played this game in a while, if ever, if you think this is where the shit happens. Oh no, this really isn't as bad as you think it is. So you have to be very careful, because as you saw right there, if you jump too fucking early, yes, if you jump too early, something, something hits you, I can only assume divine intervention, and you die. Yes, you die from one fuck up. One singular fuck up. It's exactly like Battletoads. But you see, the, the excuse Battletoads had was that you were going at a very fast speed. So it made sense that whenever you hit an obstacle, that you would die from one hit. Because you smushed into thin pancakes every time something happened like that. Not like here, where you're running at the speed of an ostrich, and somehow you get hit by a fucking nothing. Or get smacked off the fucking ostrich by a branch or, god forbid, a nest. <sighs> Dude, this is, this is just the first uh, signs of bullshit, but this is where it gets even more annoying, you see? Everybody likes monkeys, except no, but, <laughs> but this is where it gets even more annoying, because you gotta figure out where to position the fucking monkeys. Well, good luck with that, I have no fucking idea where you position the fucking monkeys. I never remember how to position these goddamn monkeys. But first things first, you need to fly over here to fly back to the other side, to then fly back here again and fly over this place. But first I want that 1-up, because you know why? 1-ups are good. Unfortunately, now I gotta use the log ride and just go back to where I was. I can't reposition that guy yet though, because I need to be able to get back to the right side. Because otherwise, well that's just a fuck. Why is there so many lightning bolts in the sky? Man, Zeus is going fucking crazy. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. What kind of cloud formations are these? Seriously. Don't bother with this rhino. This rhino is a dickhead. He doesn't want you to go anywhere. Now I believe I gotta reposition this piece of shit and then take the ride with you. I might be totally mistaken. Let's find out if I'm totally mistaken. Yes, I am mistaken. Ugh. Well, I'm not happy about it. Oh yeah, did I mention that you have almost no way of defending yourself at the moment? You're too small to slash at anything. So, you gotta deal with it. Here we go. This is a little better. I think. Move to the other side, please. And now, I think we reposition this monkey. And now we can go to places. I hope. Please take me down Paradise City. Where the hippos are brown. And the fucking place is filthy. Oh, here we go. The elephant graveyard. First things first, of course, you have to have a boss fight with the hyenas. Because of course. Of course. Problem is, they can just kill you by touching you. Because of course. Of course. I don't really mean shit. I mean, these guys are not too difficult. I just kind of fucked up. Got them too separated and everything, but the idea is very simple. You want to tire these motherfuckers out, and then you attack them. Takes only two hits on normal difficulty. And there you go. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Gotta watch out if he's bones, by the way, because 
I swear, there's some really weird glitch- Don't touch that beetle, by the way, that hurts. But there's something really odd about these bones. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with these bones, but... If you try to jump off of them at the wrong time, then they're already moving around and about to fall off, you won't be able to jump. And I have no idea why that is. It's like you get stuck on the bones, and they don't let you jump. I hate that shit. You can roll into these bone piles to break through them. How do you roll, by the way? Well, it's kind of simple, actually. You just run and press down. That's reasonable. Did you know that all the other moves that you have to know how to do are also mapped on the same fucking three buttons that you have? No? Too bad! You should know that! Cause you'll need them! I don't see why they couldn't make this particular move a little easier. Like, why couldn't they make all the other moves necessary to beat the game as easy as rolling? Why the fuck rolling gets an easy pass? Don't bounce on that thing, by the way, too many times. Cause yes, it can break too! As I've learned... Uh, there's a lot of things that piss me off about this game. No! Fuck you! <sighs> Shit, dude. I'm not letting you kill me next to a fucking checkpoint. By the way, Boogerman makes a cameo with his uh, geyser of toilet material. So I suggest you be careful and not get swallowed up by this. Seriously, what the fuck is the water from Yuka's Caverns doing here? Mind your own fucking business. You're in the wrong fucking game. At least we don't have the crazy miners and stalactites, so that's something. Seriously though, what a weird cameo. Oh shit, well you, you should ignore those guys, cause they're not important. The vultures though, you should get rid of, cause they will persist in chasing you and they're fucking annoying. Don't forget to eat the beetles, the beetles are very helpful. Also, don't fall! Else you'll be right at the beginning of the level. And that would be really fucking shit, as you can probably imagine. Try not to die, by the way, because this is like the end of the level. Easier said than done, yes. But, hey, I think you can do it. I hope I can do it! Ugh. What the fuck? That's bullshit if i ever seen it. I hit the fucker, he's blinking, I should be able to walk through him, right? Apparently not! That blue bug down there is a shield bug, apparently. If you can pick it up, you get- Oh, what the fuck? Why did I fall through the damn bone? Well, anyway, like I said, if you can pick up a shield bug, you can get yourself an additional shield. But good luck making use out of it. I think it's not a permanent addition. So, it's not even worth having it around. Like you'll be able to take one extra hit, but so what? You might as well just rush through the enemies and heal up along the way. It would be easier. Fucking vultures. You can roll into them! Well, color me surprised. It's almost like I didn't know this, because I don't play shitty games. <laughs> but that's useful to know. I mean, that is very useful to know. Being able to roll into enemies is very useful. Sometimes the hyenas will be stuck in one another. You can use that to your advantage to deal out uh, damage to both targets at the same time. Doesn't happen all the time though. So if it does happen to you, make the most out of it. What the fuck are you doing? What's wrong with him? <laughs> What? Oh, of course, he was just waiting to bullshit, of course. How could I forget? This game is all about- What the hell, dude? Seriously, every time I see an enemy just casually walk into you and doing damage, I always call foul, because that's stupid. <laughs> that really should have been Boogerman standing there, not the fucking, uh, Scar. <laughs> oh, fuck this level! <laughs> Seriously, this level can go fuck itself. But hopefully, HOPEFULLY, I can bullshit through, thanks to my uh, newly discovered Trickerino. 
from a speedrun I discovered that around somewhere where I'm standing right now there is this magic pixel that you can abuse to survive most of the level. Like look at that, I'm being run over by the fucking news and nothing's happening. Dude, I gotta make a safe state before I get fucking killed. I ain't risking this shit. Cause seriously, you can spend four fucking ages in this level. I know, no, I don't fucking care what you got to say about this. I'm a bullshit through this level as much as I fucking feel like. I really don't care about this level. I want this to be over with. Fuck! Cause this place sucks. It reeks of shit. Oh, great. I gotta make a new save state now, cause I fucked up. Seriously, this level is the biggest shit stain of this entire game as far as I'm concerned. Because this 3D effect, while very nice and innovative of the Sega Genesis, is not very helpful cause half the time you can't even tell where exactly the hitbox is. And you end up... What the fuck was that? I wasn't even going that way. And most of the time you end up hitting the target without actually even hitting it. Or not hitting it while being run over by the news. As far as I'm concerned, these 3D sections are only nice spectacles or gimmicks, but they're really not helpful or necessary. What the fuck? Why did I jump all the way over there again? Sometimes it feels like I'm, I'm just casually pushing the button a little bit and the fucker just flies all over the fucking screen. Don't mind my liberal usage of save states, by the way, cause seriously, fuck this place! God damn it! Now you might be asking yourself, why not just use a level select if I hate this place? Well, that is a good question, right? Why don't I use a save, a fucking level select? Well, the answer is very simple, cause it doesn't fucking work! See, the problem with the... With the level select in this game, oh thank goodness I'm finally done here. The problem with the level select here is uh, you go to the desired level after you select it. That's good, right? It seems like it's working then. Yeah, but the game doesn't actually keep track of where the fuck you are when you use the level select. So it thinks that after selecting, let's say, this level, which... Um, will probably be level 5, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's just assume. <laughs> and then you beat this level, you know where you end up next? You end up back in the second level, can't wait to be king or whatever it's called. Oh fucking hell, people have to be calling me now of all times, hold the fucking phone. God damn it! Fucking Department of Rage calling me again, telling me to, to keep going because their fucking generators are being fueled up from my rage. Fuck you! <laughs> well anyway, like I was saying, because I'm pretty sure I mentioned this already but I forgot because I got distracted by the fucking phone call from those department fuckers. If you beat the level after using the level select, you don't actually end up going on from where you need to be going. You just end up back in the second fucking level. Because the game thinks that the level you loaded up in is level fucking one. God damn it! But that really is the least of your worries when it comes to this game, because this level is the biggest shit number fucking two, as far as I'm concerned. Oh fuck you, how the hell that didn't count as a hit? This, this level has a problem with all these fucking boulders. See, the boulders are not actually falling in a random pattern, they're actually falling where you are at the moment. Sounds like bullshit? You bet! It's fucking annoying! Everywhere you go the damn boulders are constantly raining down on your fucking face! Can't spend a second too long in one place or else you're gonna get pelted with rocks! Not that you have much of a choice in the matter, sometimes you have to spend a few seconds more somewhere just to be able to adjust your jumps accordingly. Like here, trying to avoid the fucking brambles. 
I can't exactly rush this, because I need to, you know, coordinate my jump properly so I don't fuck up and die. I don't get a choice in the matter though, because the fucking rocks just keep falling down on my damn head, fuck! I also hate how we wanted to do these kind of precision platformings. With a fucking lion of all things. God damn it! I can't fucking do this! <laughs>